Look at picture A for question number one. What's happening in the picture? A. A man had a slam dunk. B. A man had a slam dunk. C. A man had a slam dunk. D. A man has an Islam door. Look at picture B for question number two. What might not be true from this picture? A. The little boy hit the can. B. The little boy didn't want to go to the female toilet. C. The little boy didn't like his mum. D. The mum needed to go to the restroom. Look at the picture C for question number three. What is the old man doing? A. The old man is changing his face. B. The old man is shaving his face. C. The old man is changing his beard. D. The old man is shaving his beard. Look at picture D for question number four. What might the dinner contain? A. Salad and salsa. B. Pasta and pizza. C. Pasta and salad. D. Steak and shake. Look at picture E for question number five. Why were the students staying outside the classroom? A. The students were taking a break. B. The students were being punished. C. The students were afraid to go to the classroom. D. The students were lost. Look at picture E for question number six. What might the boys talk about? A. They talked about when the punishment might end. B. They were arguing and fighting with each other. C. They were making an appointment. D. They were apologizing to each other. Question number sixteen: When would you like to go shopping? Question number seventeen: Have you got chewing gum? Question number eighteen: Are the lights still off? Question number nineteen: How often do you get online? Question number twenty: Did she say goodbye to you? Number thirty-one. Hey, this is Stacy. I'm sorry I'm not in. Call me back or just leave a message. Hey, Stacy. This is Jack. I'm calling to tell you that I'll be late for about an hour to the dinner party at your house tonight because of some unfinished work. But I'll wrap it up as soon as possible. You guys can have some wine before I arrive. By the way. Call me back if you still need something for the party.
I will drop by the store to get some beer. See you at the party. Question. Which of the following statements is true? Number 32. Holiday Motel, how may I help you? I'd like to book a room on Wednesday, December 22. Is there a single room available? Let me check our reservation book first. Hmm, all of our single rooms are fully booked, but there is still one double room for two persons left. Okay, I'll take it. Is it $1,080 per night? Yeah, but it's 15% off on weekdays. Question. Which of the following statements is not correct? Number 33. Helen. Do you have any plans for Saturday? I'm thinking that maybe we can get together and do something. Maybe go to an exhibition, try some new restaurant, or do something else. I'd love to, Peter, but my schedule is kind of tight this Saturday. I have an appointment with my doctor, I have to do grocery shopping for my mom, and after that, I have to babysit for my neighbor. Can we take a rent check? Sure. It seems that you're quite tied up. Maybe next time. Question. What isn't Helen going to do this Saturday? Number 34. Okay, to be honest, I'm quite desperate. My situation is that I'll be kicked out of my apartment by the end of the month, so I need to find something by that time. I've showed you the apartment. What else do you want to know? What's the rent? The ad for the apartment says that it's negotiable. It's $15,000 a month. Utilities aren't included. It's very reasonable considering its superb location. It's too expensive for me. I really can't afford it. The rent won't be less than $13,580. You can think about it, but I have to tell you that it's a hot spot in this area. Question. What are the men and the woman mainly talking about? Number 35. Weren't you supposed to get your school report yesterday? Where is it? I have got to sign my name on it so you can return it tomorrow. Uh, I left it behind. I promise I'll bring it tomorrow. You've forgotten your school report? What a lousy excuse. Let me take a wild guess. You didn't do well on the exams. I didn't do well on some of them. But I got good grades on English. How about math? You are good at it. Weren't you supposed to pass the math exam with flying colors? Well, I screwed it up this time. I didn't practice enough. Question. What's the boy supposed to do?